Welcome back, Legendary Potato here to episode number 5 of the Minecraft tutorial series. And in the last episode, we started working on this house here, and we also started working on this farm. So, uh, that's basically what we did. I showed you guys how you can build a simple house. It's a pretty small, cozy area, but you can still fit it in. Tons of cool stuff, which I'll be doing, of course. Uh, but as well as that, I have this farm here set up so we can eventually grow a whole bunch of wheat. Uh, so I can show you guys how you guys can make bread and stuff uh, once we got more of that growing. And it seems like we have this sheep trying to get inside of our house here. That's a little interesting. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and sleep uh, when it turns night. Uh, you sometimes, like if you get to your bed too early, sometimes you have to wait for the sun to hit a certain point. Like right there, now I can sleep. Um, it is a little bit annoying. Sometimes it just sort of happens. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I think all my glass is done. So yeah, that's all the glass I was making there. Quite a whole bunch of it. I won't need most of that anyway. Um, but yeah, so what I want to kind of do, I'm going to work on these farms a little bit more, work on my house, and I'll probably do some other stuff as well. I'll show you guys uh, some other stuff there. So let's go ahead and put our stuff inside these chests. Uh, so if you really want to, you can organize them. But for me, I'm a little bit lazier, so I just like to toss all my stuff inside of here. Um, but that's just me personally. As long as you know how to find your stuff, then you should be all set. Uh, but yeah, I'll just throw all of that away. And so, yeah, these chests can fill uh, so much stuff in there, so I won't have to worry about expanding that for a little while at least, which is great. Um, and so what I'll do here, I'll get whatever's inside of this chest, and I'll put it in there as well. And so I can basically get rid of these chests here, which will be very nice. Uh, take my diamonds with me, keep those in a safe place as well. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I think I'm not too sure what I want to do with my diamonds yet. And so I got those recently. I haven't quite decided exactly what I want to do here yet. Um, I could either make them into a diamond pickaxe, which lasts a very, very, very long time. Uh, or I could do something else completely and make some sort of uh, enchantment table because I believe that only requires two diamonds and that would leave me with one spare diamond left and what an enchantment table is is it basically lets you take your tools and your armor and you can basically add special uh, little effects onto them it basically lets you make them stronger better and uh, just a lot of strange stuff so it's a really cool thing and it's definitely nice to have that uh, early on but the thing is about that is that I also need obsidian, which also requires the diamond pickaxe. Uh, so even if I wanted to make the enchantment table right now, I would still need some more diamonds. I would need the diamond pickaxe uh, for that as well. So I would actually have to go ahead and do some more mining. So I'm hoping sometime in the near future, uh, I can do that as well. And so there's a, a couple things you can do with obsidian. Um, it's not exactly the most useful thing, although it does have some uh, very late game purposes, which one of them is enchanting, and I'll get into uh, some of the other stuff uh, later on. Uh, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how you can fence in a farm here. So I'll just kind of uh, get rid of the, some of this grass here. And so that way it prevents the mobs from like jumping over from here. Because uh, obviously I don't want things getting into my farm, that'd be kind of bad. Uh, so I'm just going to make sure the land is cleared out a decent amount. And then hopefully if I have enough wood, uh, I can start crafting some of that. I can try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, a bunch of sticks here. And then I'm going to try and make the fences, which I just turned all my birch into that. So do that. And then fences right here, I can go ahead and turn those into that. And for, what is that, for a fence gate, I need just a couple more sticks. So I want to make a fence gate as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this. And Whoa, wait. Okay, let's do that. Let's try that. Sticks. One, two, three, four. Like that. There we go. So now we got our fences and our fence gate. I don't think this will be enough fences. But I'm one, two, three, four. I'm going to go along like this. One, two, three, four. Like that. And just kind of build this along. Actually, we might barely have enough we'll see after this um oh yeah okay now we have plenty so i'll go ahead and throw all these fences in here and then what i'm going to do is in the spot where i left to open i'm going to put in a fence gate which is essentially like a door but it connects to the fences and uh, looks more like that instead so looks pretty cool uh when we have it there so we can walk inside we can close it that way nothing can follow us inside but uh, now that we've got more wheat grown what we're going to do 
is whoa okay uh, we're gonna turn this wheat uh, we're gonna plant the seeds back down sometimes it gives us more seeds than just one for a thing but seems like we had bad luck uh, bad luck there um, and we can use this to make bread so I should have some wheat from before there we go and so every three wheat it makes one bread so right there one two three there we go so we got a piece of bread um, and it does about two and a half things of hunger so right now I have about two hunger so I could wait uh, just a little bit more before I eat first uh, but yeah so that's that now the farm is fenced in so now it prevents anything from walking on top of it so if you're gonna make a farm I do recommend you do put some sort of fence over it uh, just so that way um, it prevents things from walking on it but you can do other things as well but that's what I like to do because there's often times where like something will walk on it and just ruin the whole thing so uh, just might as well prevent that early on anyway now what I'm going to do is, another thing you can do with the stone, is we can turn it into smooth stone again, which is the stuff we were mining uh, when we were down underground. And so we can turn it back into that. We can also craft other things. Uh, I wanted to craft some stone bricks. And so I could use that as a cool block to maybe make the roof out of, or anything else I want to do with it. Uh, so that's something I want to try and do. And I'm going to eat the bread here. It's going to go up two and a half. Uh, yeah, so that's something I want to try and do with that. I'm also going to use this cobblestone uh, in order to put this underneath. Completely optional. Uh, personally, it's just personal preference. I think this looks nicer uh, like that. But uh, again, you can do whatever you like. You don't have to build exactly the way I build. Um, this is just all how I like to do my stuff here. So I'll just kind of put the cobblestone underneath the fences like that. So I don't know, kind of makes it look more clean that way. And so I'll just kind of go around and do all that while the stone is cooking. Um, and so basically you can turn stone into the stone brick, which is a, a really nice blo uh, looking block in my opinion. Oops, sometimes that'll happen. Sometimes just the way you place blocks can be a little bit strange. So uh, that is something to keep in mind. It's like some, some things like fences have strange hitboxes since they're not uh, a full block. Like look at this. Uh, same thing with um, like the glass panes over there. Those aren't full blocks either, so sometimes just placing around them can be a little bit strange. Uh, but we'll go ahead and place in our last amount of cobblestone right around there. There we go. Uh, so now we're pretty much all set there. All right. So yeah, that looks pretty good. We got some wheat growing in there. I won't deal with that right now, but uh, what I will do is I'll put all of that away. There we go. So I think in the meantime, while I'm waiting for all of that, um, I can probably try and decorate the house uh, a little bit more. There's not too much I can do right now since I don't have uh, too much resources, um, but it's something I am currently trying to work on. So we'll, we'll eventually get somewhere with that. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping we can add the roof soon, but it does take lots of stone to do that, unfortunately. Um, I'll probably go ahead, break some more trees around here. Again, I want to keep this place relatively open uh, so I can see exactly what's going on around me. Uh, but something I want to do is I want to find some other crops, uh, one of them being like sugarcane. And so sugarcane has a couple uses. It can be used for paper, uh, and paper can be used for things like books or bookshelves, which it's a nice decoration block, uh, but it also comes back to the enchantment table, which I keep bringing up. Uh, so it's something, if I want an enchantment table, uh, then I'm probably going to want some sugarcane on me. So if I can find some sugarcane close by, which there's some right there, you can tell what sugarcane is because it's the tall uh, green growing crop, usually around water. And so if I can find anything closer, that would be good. But if not, I'll just quickly go ahead and grab that. Uh, so if you see any of this sort of stuff um, when you're playing survival, make sure you go ahead and grab some of it and you want to farm it back over at your base. Uh, because it will be helpful much later on uh, in the game. So just get it now, and you won't have to worry about it too much later. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just grab all of this that I see right around here. So right here we got one, two, three. So I'll just break that. So that's what it looks like in your inventory. So if you got that, then you're good. Uh, but yeah, we'll just grab all of this here, and we should be all set. And then we can go ahead and plant it back at our base. I'll show you guys how you can... Uh, grow this stuff as well, but you want to have a pretty large quantity of it. So I'll just get rid of all of that and We should be good. So I guess sometimes it grows and things of four, which is I guess kind of rare, but um, All right, anyway, let's go ahead and go back 
over to our base, which I know it's right over this way. I have a little sense of direction here. We didn't even uh, walk off too far anyway, so that's kind of good. Sometimes it can be a little bit harder to find, but um, in this case, it was not too bad there. So I'm just going to swim through here. You can sprint through the water. It's kind of like sprinting, but it's just kind of swimming fast. Uh, but keep in mind that like sprinting or swimming fast like that uses up a lot more hunger. Uh, same thing with sprint jumping. So if you don't have that much food, maybe not exactly the best idea. I didn't even bring any food with me, which was very risky of me to do that. Uh, but there we go. I got some pork chops in there, so I will be fine. Uh, but now we got our sugar cane. Um, let's go ahead and start growing it. So what I'm going to do is maybe around here. I'm just going to place in... Uh, actually, what I'll do, I'll keep this farm efficient, so I'll do it slightly differently. I'll put in water right there. That lets me put sugarcane um, right around in these spots right there like that. And, and then what I can do is put another one right here, another one right here, and another one right here. So there's so many different ways to do sugarcane, but the idea with sugarcane is that it has to be touching next to a water block like this. And so if I put water blocks like this, I can kind of make it all alternate and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll sleep, uh, which there we go, let me sleep that time. And we'll go ahead and get some more water buckets, which um, there is water nearby, so I can just go ahead and get that. And I guess I might as well show an infinite water source, because I don't feel like running back here. Uh, so let's say you need a lot of water for a project, uh, but you don't feel like running to your local lake or pond or whatever you got. I'm going to create this 2x2 two two hole right here, and I'm going to put my first water in corner right here. And what I'll do is I'll take my second thing of water. I'll be right back for that sugar cane. Don't worry about it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put it in the opposite corner. So here's the water in this first one. Put it in the second one right there. So now, infinite water source. So I can I can do this all I want. And there's still going to be water in there. So if I go ahead, put that in there. Put that in there. And there. And in there. So now I just made four things of water from just this thing here. And I can do that as often as I'd like. So I'm going to leave that there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so I can just go around and plant all of these. Very nice here. So do I have enough for this? I don't. So that's okay, of course. Uh, but yeah, so that's the sugarcane farm. I can, you know, do it in so many different ways. But this is just a very efficient way. I have to use a minimal amount of water. And, you know, I can put down a lot of sugar cane with it. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move that flower over there. Uh, but, yeah, so we'll see eventually what's going to happen with it is it's going to grow up to about three blocks. Uh, and there we can just kind of break it and plant it elsewhere. And it just kind of gradually, uh, over time, you can get a lot of sugar cane from it. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and let that grow. It does take a little bit of time, but you can use the bone meal, which I showed you guys in the last episode as well. Um, to make it grow faster if you'd want to, but I don't have any bones on me, so I can't even do that anyway But what I'll do is I will plant some more seeds. There we go We actually got a decent amount of seeds this time, so now I can actually do this and there we go sweet See it does take a little bit of time to grow your stuff. It just takes a lot of planting and replanting uh, But eventually you'll have so many seeds that you don't know what to do with them uh, that's just a sort of a thing that happens. You'll just get so many seeds. You just got to toss them out all the time or just keep them on you and it just takes up storage. Um, see, it's, it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, but now I got nine pieces of wheat. I can go ahead and put in uh, all of that right there. There we go. See, now we got three bread. So there's some food coming in. Uh, but I would recommend having way more food than what I have right now because, yeah, food gets used up pretty quickly sometimes. Um yeah, anyway, so now what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and check in on our stone here. I'll go ahead and start using this now, I think, because I just want to start doing it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the stone brick. It's not going to be enough uh, right now. I know it's not going to be enough, so um, that's just a thing. I'm not really too concerned about it from the time being. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pile up to here with some dirt. Dirt is always like a good stacking block uh, to use. So if you have a bunch of dirt on you, I'd recommend you use that if you need, uh, ever need to get to a high place. You can also use your water bucket. You can swim up water, which is pretty cool. Uh, I won't demonstrate it because I have a bunch of torches that I'm not willing to destroy right now. 
But what I'll do is throw in all of these stone bricks uh, along here. And so you can do your roof however you want. If you just want a flat roof, which uh, is fine, you can do that. But I like to make my roof uh, kind of curve up a little bit and kind of come up, come down. Uh, so that's what I kind of do. It just kind of comes up at more of a, a point. Um, but yeah, this is your house. If you want to just do a flat roof, which is the easiest to do, uh, then go ahead, knock yourself out, go for it. Uh, but personally, I like to try and do something a little bit better. I'm not going to do any sort of complicated roof. Uh, I am going to keep it simple. I'll just kind of do uh, a simple kind of going up and down uh, just so that it, it's not too complicated. Uh, like, I, I want to keep things simple for this series. I'm not going to, like, go ahead and try and do anything too fancy since I am trying to teach you guys how to play this game. I don't want to start confusing anybody by doing anything uh, very weird or complicated. So what I'm going to do is that, and I'll go up two more, so one, two, uh, actually three, so three like that, and then I'll get rid of these top ones here, and so now I have that kind of shape put in, but yeah, still uh, definitely not enough stone brick, I will probably need to cook some more uh, stone after that anyway, uh, but hopefully it'll be enough for the time being to get a decent amount of this done. Uh, yeah, it looks like, okay, so I'll be able to get half the roof done with this, and I'll probably have to throw in uh, just a little bit more stone brick, and we'll be good. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and finish this off with what I have left, um, and then I'll probably throw in more, and we'll do something else while I wait for the rest of that to cook, uh, which takes a decent amount of time. Uh, and on Bedrock Edition, you have to be relatively close to your furnace. If you're on the other versions, then it's not too much of a worry. Uh, but Bedrock Edition uses this uh, sort of simulation distance, which basically tells the game how far or how close you have to be uh, in order for something to uh, do its thing, like a furnace, for example. If a furnace is to be running, you have to be within a certain range, which um, all kind of varies depending on the, the settings uh, that you choose, but it's going to be about 10 uh, chunks, so about um, maybe 160 blocks or so. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'll explain what chunks are later, uh, hopefully at least. I don't want to confuse anybody, so I'll explain it if it becomes relevant. Uh, but let's go ahead and throw in some more cobblestone here. One, two, and we'll go ahead and throw them back in there. And we should have more than enough after that is all done. Uh, so that should be perfect. I'll go ahead and throw in just a little bit more uh, while I'm doing that. Oops. <laughs> yeah, sometimes just you place in the wrong spot. It happens. It's a little annoying. Uh, I'll just pile up with the dirt here. Again, like the dirt things are always just temporary. I'm going to take them out after I'm done. Uh, but it's just a quick, easy block to mine, which is just why I kind of like using it as a pillar block. Um, this is a bunch of other blocks you can use as well. Um, another good example of that would be sand, because sand actually is affected by gravity. Uh, so you can easily just kind of destroy it without having to go up your pillar. If it's like a large pillar, uh, sand is definitely a good choice for that as well, which uh, I might try and show that off at some point if I ever have to do that, which I'm not sure if I will. But if I do, sand's a good option there. So here we go. Okay, so yeah, we just need a tiny bit more stone brick. Not even all that much. Like, honestly, we could get away with probably um, another 16, and I'll probably be good. Uh, See, so yeah, I bet that amount is probably already done in these two furnaces. Is it? Ooh, it's almost done. Here we go. One more. One more of each of these, and we'll probably be all set. Uh, like, it, it really is not that much I need left. One and two. There we go. So let's go ahead, throw that in, and we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll just get rid of this dirt here. I'll get rid of the dirt in the front as well, and then I can finish the roof. And uh, I'll just have to do the little uh, parts uh, along the walls here because that still is showing. Uh, but that's not too much to worry about. It does give me space for a second floor in the house if I really wanted to do that. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do right now. Maybe I can have like some sort of cool balcony thing or something. Um, but yeah, let's focus on the walls first. I'm not going to focus on the interior just yet. But let's place in our last stone brick right along here and done okay so now we finished with that let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like from the front uh, right down here uh, so yeah it's obviously not the most beautiful thing in the world but 
Um, I'm happy enough with it, so what I'm going to do now, uh, I should have some spare wood. Actually, oh yeah, okay, it's on me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise the wood up one more for each of these. Where's my dirt? There's my dirt. Uh, right here, and then I'll also do the wood planks as well um, along the walls here. So we'll do that one, two, uh, and then there's also three, four back here. Uh, and then so I hope that this wood will convert to be enough wooden planks. It should be. Uh, that'll make about 32 wooden planks after I'm done with Or actually, no, it'll make 28. Um, I don't think that's going to be enough, so what I'll do is I'll just get some more wood now. Uh, but yeah, again, like I said, building in a forest has a lot of advantages for the wood, since if you're building a wooden house like I am, then you're probably going to need a lot of wood anyway. So what I'll do, get some of this. And this will be more than enough at this point once I get these two trees done. Uh, so now, that's all done there. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's turn this into uh, planks. And then we can go ahead and top off the house there. And I think I'll be very happy uh, with the result of that. So I can just kind of place it along the inside like this. And we should have something done. Maybe I'll put in a window up there at some point or something. Um, but right now I'm not really too worried about it. So let's just kind of finish this off like that Okay, so yeah, like I said, it's simple um, But it's it's fine for like a first house sort of thing um, You can always build a different house if you want to or build a second house whatever you want to do um, Your world you can decide if you want to have like 50 different houses in your world go for it um, Honestly, like there's no limitations in this game um, so you, you have as much freedom as you choose so I'll just put this in and we can take a look at the house from the outside and the inside and I should be happy with that oops yeah just be careful where you're placing your blocks it's very easy to mess up a build if you start placing something in the wrong spot and not notice for a little while um, then yeah that's just a sort of a thing that can happen but I'm usually a little careful about that uh, but even to me, sometimes I can still mess something up really badly. So that's just a thing that happens. It's a thing you're probably going to get uh, used to, is just being really careful where you place things. Because if you want something built a certain way, then yeah, you have to be really careful about that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our house there. Yeah, very simple house. It's nothing crazy. Um, but I'm happy with that house, and we can go into the inside. Very cozy. This is a very cozy house. I do like that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm happy with what we got done in today's episode. I showed you guys how to make some stone brick, how to make a roof, and uh, actually I kind of did miss a spot along the, the sides there. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. Uh, is there a torch on the floor? I think that picked that up. So I need to do this as well, like that, and we'll do that along the other side. But yeah, you guys can make a roof just like this one. You can make it in your own way. Uh, but I'm happy with that. And yeah, so that's how you make a roof. That's how you kind of finish off your house in Minecraft. And of course, there's a lot of other things we can do to our house. Um, but I'm not going to worry about those things in today's episode. And I also showed you guys how to make a sugarcane farm, which hasn't grown anything yet, unfortunately. So I'm hoping um, sometime in the next episode, I'll show you guys that how to replant your sugarcane farm as it kind of keeps growing, all that sort of good stuff. But thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys all did enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns down in the comments section below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified of when the next video goes live. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys, and peace.